Are you ready to try the snacks? So you're on camera, you're live, so. Oh, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> and so the purpose for this is you have to figure out, kind of like talk about the taste and probably which country the snacks are from. Do you think that's something oh you can do? Oh my gosh. No, I'm horrible at countries. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Yes! Package from Treats. And off the bat, they have. Click that link. It's a Christmas season. So if you need treats for your loved one and family, if you have no idea what to get your loved ones, treats, this is the way to go. You can blindfold them like this and they can try. And it's just so much fun. Christmas comes early. So let's see what treats, what country this is. This. Whoa, off the bat, I think I know that map. All right, I'm gonna need you to peek. Do you know what this flag is? Italy. Do you wanna talk like an Italian? Let's see, go. Oh mio Dio. Oh mio Dio. <laughs> is that... <laughs> oh yeah. Any Italian watching this, let us know what Omio Pio is. Did you know in Central Italy there was a fountain that flows red wine? Did you know that? No. For 24 hours a day, the fountain can be found in Caldari di Otana. More than 30% of Italians do not use internet. Whoa, did you know that? No. That's what it says. And then Leonardo wow. da Vinci was Italian, so were Christopher Columbus. Galileo and Dante Allegrari. Pinocchio, wooden puppet, who wants to be a real boy, also came from Italy. Mm -hmm. Interesting facts about Italia. So off the bat, we have a... Oh man, your freaking house doesn't have... So this is going to be a tour for me for trip. I go around people's homes and blindfold them <laughs> as such, if they let me in. And this is just for treats because it's fun. I'm going around people's homes around Christmas and, you know, I offer them treats. So if you want me to come to your home and do this blindfold up close and candid, leave a comment below and treats and I will come to your home and test your test buds. So today we are at our home doing this <laughs> and we want to see how good she is. Uh, yeah, for me or tea. So first off, Spalari, Spalari, Spalari. <laughs> and I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> you can't. I did. <laughs> so off the bat, what do you think? It's fruity. Uh huh. Um, oh, it's not like overpowering. It's kind of like mild in taste. Yeah. Is that like something it. you'd give a loved one for Christmas? Mm, yeah, for sure. Like oh. in their stockings. Huh. If you had to rate that from the candies you know about. From one out of ten, what would you rate it? I'd give that like a five. A five? Yeah. That's such a low rating for. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know if I would reach for that. Yeah. Next street in line. I'm gonna try this with you. <laughs> oh me your tea. <laughs> it's tea. Tea. Okay. Are these like crackers? I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. I think it'd be good with like a cheese dip or like. Yeah. Cheese ball or something like that. Cheese ball. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Talk about cheese ball. Here we go. Number three out of ten. All of you write that from all the crackers mm, you've ever had. That was from all the crackers I've ever had. Mm. Uh, I'd give that a 6.8. 6 6.8. 6 yeah. Going up. <laughs> okay. What do you think? I don't know how I feel about that. No? No, there are so many different things going on. Let me yeah. try another one. Okay. It like grows on you. At yeah. first I'm like, eh. Mm -hmm. But now I want to keep reaching for more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, third one, go ahead. <laughs> Talk me through it. It kind of tastes like a cheese puff. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, I like the texture of it. Okay. The flavor like grows. Gross. On you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at first you're kind of like, am I just eating cardboard? But then like more flavor comes. More through. flavor comes. Yeah. I get that like a 5.5. 5. 5.5. 5. 5. I'll probably give it a 7. I kind of like it. Like you say, it kind of grows on you. A 7? Yeah. Wow. Well, the next one is called, man, traditional. What, what is it? This is it's breadstick. That's what it says. 
There's not much flavor to this one. Out of 10, mm -hmm. what would you rate it? Five. Five? Yeah. Are we ever gonna get past this five oh, no. scale of yours? And now I kind of want to go back and say that the first one was like an eight. An eight? Yeah. It works. <laughs> Maybe this one will give you a 10 out of 10. What we call Kubeti. 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 It's interesting because with Italian, there's like this double T's, you know. Kubeti. Mm -hmm. She's Italian, by the way, so. Kubeti. <laughs> Kubeti. Okay. O mio tio. Kubeti. <laughs> All right. That's a big one. Off the bat, let's go. Oh, I love that. You love that. Mm -hmm. Why do you love it? Mm, chocolatey. Mm -hmm. It's a wafer. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Yeah. 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 Is there more? <laughs> <laughs> Out of ten, what do you want to rate it? <laughs> I'll do a nine point. Yeah. Two. Nine point two. Yeah. Italian. Okay, so this Kubeti wins. It has hazelnut Kubeti. All right. Next up, we have that, and uh, what's it called? It's called snack, whatever it's called. But um, here we go. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This one's more chocolatey. Okay. Mm. The cocoa thing in it slaps. Oh, so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another nine point mm -hmm. eight out of ten. Yep. So the last one was a 9.2 and this one's a 9.4. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. 9.4. Mm -hmm. So I guess Italian wafers are the best. <laughs> but uh, I know some of you have been exposed to this. Mm. I can't tell if I'm... What do you think? Eh. Eh. It's okay. It's okay. It's like a six. It's called Zotz. It's a hard candy. Interesting. Mm. Here we go. Oh no, is it going to turn my mouth blue? Probably, yeah. Ooh. You like that? Mm hmm. It tastes like blue raspberry. Blue raspberry, that's mm -hmm. exactly what it is. It's mm -hmm. blue raspberry sauce. Makes me want to try Italian candy. I've never Ooh. tried Italian candy. You like that? Has it, a kick I to got, it? Uh huh. <laughs> it's kind of like oh, uh, sour mm -hmm, almost. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, that's, this is my favorite. 10 out of 10. 10 out. Oh my god, wait, it's fizzing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh my You're god. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it has something right in the center. Mm hmm. Mm. That's so fun. Is my mouth blue? Yeah. Mm. Your tongue is, yeah. La Florentina. Mm. So that sounds like an Italian city, right? Is mm -hmm. that where you're from? Florentine. I'm from Italy. Oh, okay, cool. I'm just making sure here. <laughs> All right, here. <laughs> I think I'm going to love what this one. What is this? Yeah. That's good. Yeah? Huh? I like that. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. But yeah. then you can talk to about the taste. Mm -hmm. That's like kind of nutty. Mm -hmm. yeah, it has some nuts on the mm -hmm. inside. I'd give that, I'd give that an 8.8. .8. We'll do the Kono snack first for the last two. Not a lot of uh, variety from Italy or just this box, but this one off the bat looks really, really cool. A lot of rainbow elements to it. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have to buy it out of it. Tastes buy like it a out of it? Yeah. Oh. Girl. That was not dinner. This is Christmas. You gotta try this so that people can be able to <laughs> buy this from their loved ones. Oh it's it's God. hard when yeah. I can't see what's going on. You had it all. I can't test it. So. I have the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. You better be. That's a really deep chocolate. Mm hmm. It's like a dark chocolate. It's like thing. stuck to my mouth now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has lemon and honey drop, especially eucalyptus. I've never tasted eucalyptus. So first time tasting a eucalyptus. Honey. What do you spell? H-O-N-E-E-S. H-O-N-E-E-S. Honies? Honies, yeah. <laughs> honey. So it's a honey. It's a honey soothing, honey center candy. <laughs> oh, <honey. laughs> 
Before I go knock up the next house, so this is for you, milady. Thanks for having us and thanks for participating in this street extravaganza. Once again, remember for your loved ones, it's December, Christmas is around the corner. Get your loved ones some treats and um, yeah, the link will be in the description below. And what do you write that in your mouth? What? I don't have it in my mouth. The, uh, oh, the other one? Yeah. Um, that one was like a nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. Something about you. I think you just like chocolate. Huh? Oh, I love chocolate. Okay. <laughs> mm. This one more is more like a. This is like a cough drop. Yeah. Is this if a you're cough coming drop? down with a cold. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's honey first. It, it's a honey drop with some honey and uh, menthol. I'm just seeking to taste the eucalyptus part of it. <clears throat> But it sure is soothing. I mean, it's not a sweet. You still mm -hmm. have the sugary taste. I like the packaging, pretty attractive. I mean, if I go to Italy, Florentine, that's what I get. And uh, what's your rating? Um, in terms of cough drops, that's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. For right. a cough drop, yeah. Cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And once again, treats is where it's at. Would you get treats for your loved ones after trying their Italian? Oh, for sure. For sure? For sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for participating. Thank and, you uh, for having me. All right. And there you have it. Treats in your mouth. And never forget honey. Go get you some honey.